guys, welcome to another Summer Guys production. I come back with this tonight, guys. Welcome to another Summer Guys production video. Alright, today I'm gonna have a look at the um. Alright, guys, welcome to another Summer Guys production. Alright, hi guys. Alright, as you can see with the actual iPad itself, uh, in all its glory, that's pretty much the screen there. So if we look at the other side here, we're looking at the side, see how thin it is? It is literally very thin. Then we've got the back here, obviously, of the iPad. The dimensions are pretty, you've got the iPod docked in the bottom, the speaker, and you've got the, uh, you've got the volume and the lock for the accelerometer, plus you've got your lock button, and your uh, earphone uh, slot. So, this is the home screen of the iPad. This is pretty much what it is out of the box. Now, as we go into here, we'll notice that the accelerometer, as you can see, is very, very, very sensitive, so you just have to tilt a little bit and it will actually move round and round and it doesn't matter what orientation you have it as you will be able to use it at anything you want so as you can see you've got the standardization of it like an iPhone you've got several pages okay from the home screen here let's um let's take a look at uh, let's say a website actually well so we'll load up Safari um, we'll just refresh the Apple site. This is the Australian Apple site. If you're wondering why it's not displaying the Apple site, if you're from the US, obviously. And that loads uh, relatively quick uh, without any shadow of doubt. So that is what I was really impressed. Now, the calendar app is interesting as well. You can pretty much uh, say it's the most usable interface, usable interface you can ever use on a calendar application that I've ever experienced with. You can put notes in, you can put anything you want, it's just a tap away pretty much. Um, it's all laid out, you can go month, year, whatever. Uh, so another interesting thing is YouTube obviously. If we go into YouTube, uh, you've pretty much you load up, you launch straight into the YouTube application. It gives you everything you want from features to your videos. If you logged in with your account, you can, be, you can rate stuff. You can do anything you want in those terms. As well as, I don't know, uh, comment, uh, rate, subscribe. All that you can do pretty much straight in this application. You couldn't do that some of the things you couldn't actually do in this version you couldn't do in actually on the iPhone but here's a little snippet of what the audio is like and quality but yeah that's pretty much YouTube now YouTube is quite um, easy to use because pretty much you can use it in landscape or you can use it in portrait so that is pretty much YouTube Alright, here is mail application. Now you can do this in both landscape and portrait. I've got it obviously showing here in portrait. You can see your email in full full view, like as if you're reading a page of printout. Uh, there's really not much to add on that, so I'm moving on to iBook Store. Now the iBook Store is brilliant. It's not available in Australia, obviously, uh, but it will be available here, obviously, in time. But here's a book that I've just opened here called The Art of War. It's one of the one of the free books you can get uh, with the iPad. Alright, so yeah, this is pretty much the book. You can go into bookmarks that you have. you notice that it just highlights the word that you've bookmarked. And you pretty much can just tap, tap, tap and you'll go. Or you can actually hold down your finger. And as you can see, the orientation of the page follows you wherever the finger is, like just like a real page. You can turn pretty much... The book as if you were turning a real book pages uh, in this case you're doing it on the screen but if we get out of there and we go straight into the iBooks I mean iBook store uh, so obviously this is using my uh, US account it's not actually using my Australian account because you won't be able to access the store without with your Australian iTunes account as yet but as you can see, I'm just loading in. Uh, this is basically all the books that are available uh, in a lot of places worldwide, in Australia, US, whatever. And they're reasonably priced as well. 
But if we go into the most popular one that I think is pretty good, is the Marvel Comic Book Store. Now this is brilliant. This is the best way to read your comics if you like comics. Now all these comics I have downloaded here are pretty much all the free ones that you can get from the Marvel Bookstore. There are a lot of free comics. Uh, so here's a Spider-Man one, pretty much go straight into it. And bingo, you've got your comic book store here. Uh, you can go page by page like so, or you can zoom in and go from bubble to bubble in complete detail. So you can pretty much follow the entire story without spoiling it for yourselves and seeing the entire page like so. Now that's brilliant. That's the best way to enjoy your comics is definitely on the iPad without a shadow of a doubt. That's one thing I did enjoy about this application on the iPad. Now it's a free application obviously. Uh, you just have to be signed up with Marvel. Alright, as you can see all the applications are pretty much all laid out here. Uh, there are a couple of iPhone apps at the end there. But everything else here is all iPad apps, as you can see. This is the iTunes, iPod app, obviously, or the uh, where all your music and podcasts will be. It looks pretty much like iTunes, pretty much. Here's videos. This is where TV shows, movies, uh, all your iTunes content comes straight from here, video-wise, as well as your video uh, music clips and podcasts, video podcasts can go through it as well. Uh, obviously, I can't show you any content of this, but you get the idea. Right, so let's go into Facebook. Now, this is a really good application that is pretty much for the iPad. Now, the brilliant thing about this Facebook version is that you can actually view videos. Now. As far as I know, it's available also on the iPhone because they don't they don't uh, sacrifice the iPhone on anything that gets released on the iPad as well, except unless it's for books. Now, Pages. Here is a good uh, word processing application for the iPad. It's iWorks basically for the iPad. You can do everything and anything that you can do in uh, Pages on the Mac. So there's nothing you can miss out there. Uh, you can open Word documents, you can open anything from Office 2007 uh, as well as all the pages uh, files as well. Uh, basically you can view any of your documents here, uh, it just opens and pretty much you can do whatever you can do uh, just by touching it instead of uh, using a mouse and click and shortcuts. Oh yes, this is also a good feature, you can import uh, all your documents directly. This That import section is actually where you would actually do your iTunes exports. And that other thing that you just saw there was pretty much uh, all your templates and everything like that. You could send via mail, you can send or uh, it allows you to save in uh, either PDF pages or Word documents. Uh, so it's the same thing for when you want to save it or export it. So if we just go into this document, this is uh, pretty much everything that you need to know on pages. Numbers. Now this is literally just like Excel uh, for the Mac. Uh, so here it is pretty much here. This is a document that's from Excel 2007. This actually has full line macros and everything and they all seem to work. Uh, which I was very impressed about. So that is pretty awesome. And the keyboard obviously is pretty awesome that it's specially designed just for Excel. Well, in this case, it's called Numbers. Uh, so there are your macros in there as well. Obviously, the last part here is obviously Keynote. And this is where you have all your presentations. For instance, if you're using PowerPoint and all that, you can import and export all your documents straight into Keynote on the iPad via iTunes. And if we play the default uh, presentation that comes here, we can see uh, how well it actually plays. There we go. You can see all the transitions that you see here in this presentation as a demonstration is uh, what you can actually do in the Keynote version uh, on the iPad. So as you can probably see, it is you can do a lot of advanced stuff on the actual iPad itself 
using the Keynote application that you would do on the Mac. So yeah, there's definitely, uh, oh here's an option here that you can, where you can move your uh, slides up and down just by touching and dragging, uh, just, just going through all your apps. Uh, so that is pretty much Keynote, uh, there's really nothing else there, but um, let's have a look at settings, shall we? Alright, here's all your basic stuff here, you've got pretty much all your functionality and settings on the right, and pretty much all your functions are on the, uh, oops, I mean, yeah, settings are on the left, and obviously your uh, functions are on the right. So you can see you've got everything from brightness to your wallpaper to everything general like your network, your Bluetooth, your uh, access locks and that sort of thing, your restrictions, whatever. Uh, so here you go, you control your photos from here, there's where you put your uh, iTunes account and that sort of thing in, Safari can be controlled from here. Uh, so it's be oh, even, you even got push email for your uh, mobile meet. So you pretty much got everything set there in your settings area there. But that's pretty much everything about the iPad. As far as I know, it's probably one of the best things you could probably get. And I highly recommend you actually go for it when it's out here the in Australia. The iPad just weighing over um, 1.5 pounds, um, which is about 1.65 uh, kilograms in the new measurement system. Um, I'd have to say... From what I've played with this and what apps I've put on this thing, uh, iPad, I have to say it's one of the best brilliant devices I've actually played with. Um, Apple definitely was on the ball with, with tablet type computers as such as this. Um, I wouldn't actually call it a computer as such, but it definitely does things that you can do on a laptop way better. Uh, one other thing. Uh, for you guys in, back in Australia, obviously, this is pretty much for you guys. Uh, they're not available, obviously, here in Australia. We unfortunately have to wait another six weeks before you'll see the Wi-Fi version. And, of course, another two and a half months before you'll see the 3G version. Uh, so here, overall, I'd have to say that this device is a must-have. Definitely get your hands on one of these guys. And if you can't get one imported, definitely get... Definitely, definitely line up. It's worth lining up for this thing. I tell you what, I've never let, had this device leave my side since I've had it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you later.